maybe that's their particular avenue, their channel, that if they follow it, that'll lead them to a path of future I don't know, destiny, safety, security. Because basically at the end of the day, I mean, there's a lot of schools and universities, they're all saying, your child's going to need this for the day. Really? Do they know? I know for a fact that I, I studied a lot of subjects that I've never used again after high school. Mm. Anyway, just so, just, uh, just a word in your ear. And just to end, I'd like to say that, yes, have this in mind when you're talking to your child or your students or other kids out there but also have this in mind in your own mind talk when you're talking to yourself in your head about what you can and what you can't do how do you know that you couldn't be a cool artist or a painter or a writer or a mathematician or a scientist even you just gave up you gave up a very long time ago after maybe you looked at somebody else's scores versus your own and you just thought, Jesus, they're so much better than me. Why do I even bother? Is that person, the person who got high scores, are they still in that track? Are they still in that vein? That person who beat you in school, who got top of the class marks in that subject that you loved, are they still in that vein? Are they still studying that subject? Are they, are they in a career that's using that subject? Besides the point, I mean, even if, if they're not or if they are, what, what says that you can't give it a go yourself? Maybe you're not going to get a job in it, an amazing paying job in it in the next year, but maybe your curiosity and your absorption and your interest in something, it starts as something small now, and if you follow it like a spark, you don't know where it could take you. Have a little faith in yourself. <laughs>